Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a BJD nail painting tutorial. I have Imara and Kamara sat here. Um, Imara, most of Imara's uh, parts are already painted. Her spare hands there, her heeled feet, she has flat feet on now, and then her other hands I have already done. Uh, Kamara, she, I got her a darker colour and that came a lot later, so she, she needs all of her um, parts doing. Um, and just show you how her hand isn't in place, but if you didn't already know, when you're changing the hands of the Impudol body, um, you don't have to get your forceps out to hold the elastic <laughs> while you do whatever you want to do with the hand. The actual hook itself twists and sits inside a channel there, would you say? Like an extra bit. Just sits nicer there, waiting for you to put her hand back in. <laughs> a bit like Hook from Peter Pan, but obviously a teeny tiny hook. Um, so yeah, so it's way easier to uh, change out parts and stuff like that. So I thought I'd uh, show you that as well. Um, also, the actual nail varnish that I have there, uh, UV gel, gel nail varnish, uh, changes colour depending on the temperature. So I'll show you that in a minute as well. Um, but we'll do the uh, tan skin feet first. And I'll just show you how I got them pretty like that. So let me set up and we will crack on. Okay, so I'm all set up now. Um, I have my powders, I have the UV and LED um, base coat, top coat and the colour coat that I'll be using and I also have some very thin um, paint brushes. I also use this one to try and get excess off but it doesn't always work <laughs> with the powder. Um, so yeah, I will show you how I did these toenails. Kind of works the same for uh, the red one anyway but um, I don't think it mattered whether I put a base coat on or a top coat on anyway. It, one of these has, has a, a base coat and a, and a top coat and the others don't and I can't remember which one it is now but they, they, they just all came out the same anyway so I feel like the colour coat just needs two coats and you don't need to do any of this. Whereas with the pearlescent powders you do have to put a base coat down for it to stick to and then a top coat so that it doesn't um, come off on your hands afterward if that makes any sense. But I'll show you now anyway. We'll just push Amara's uh, other hands out the way. Yeah, and I have my little um, UV, mini UV nail lamp. Um, you can get little pens, I didn't know. Um, but I feel like this is, this is easier because you can actually get the feet and the hands underneath it, so. Okay, so, base coat first. Um, like I said, you will need smaller brushes, little paint brushes, because this is way too big for, um, toenail and all I do is grab a bit of the like that just get a good chunk of it on your brush like that just let me uh, put that to the side and then it's pretty straightforward get it on there nice and flat like that I used to like doing this in colouring books you could do the nails and the lips and the makeup in colouring books, so this is quite an enjoyable uh, thing to do. And then you just whack it underneath. Ta -da! And I'll do two minutes. I'll do. I'll click it again when it does two minutes. So I'll just speed this up. Right, just move that out of the way. And then the next thing, it's pretty straightforward. You just get a bit of the powder. I don't know if we're able to zoom into this as best I can. And then we just sort of pat it on there. Put it on that nail. I know it's that easiest, easier said than done, but try not to get it all over the toe, like right around here. I mean, it looks nice just with that base coat on. It's the shiny with just that base coat on. Oh, 
Oh, see? <laughs> I probably need to cut one of these down actually to a more of a point and that would have been uh, a lot easier. Um, but yeah, that, I mean, that's all right. If you um, need to, I just sort of squash to make it a bit more pointy. Let's just, I mean, you could probably wet it actually and that'd help to get some of that excess off. Trust it as soon as I start recording, that's when I make most of the mistakes I can't get off. I mean, you get the general gist, don't you? Um, I don't know if you could get your big old finger in there like mine. Just get it on like that. Yeah, I mean, that's not that bad. Uh, and then always put that lid back on. Don't, don't make the mistake I did of um, knocking the pot over and or going like this and then because I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't actually see it but it's there <laughs> and uh, I feel like it's sort of stuck to the board now but anyway so then i uh, get the right brush because that one's from the red one and then you get your top coat this absolutely reeks this one um, Get on there with your top coat. There we go, and then cure that again two times. Then you've got like a semi permanent nail there haven't you um going off the what it says there about soaking off i think you just you just warm it up in some warm water and they'll soak off you know you can tell from my nails that i have no idea about health and beauty <laughs> well health not beauty <laughs> i don't i don't do my nails regularly or anything like that this is the first time i've ever used a uv lamp to do nails um I have had acrylics before now, but uh, it was a long time ago. So just to sort of clarify what I just said there, um, Imira's first set that I did were done with the, I can't do the camera because it's on the stand, but her first set of nails were done with the white base coat. And this second set are done with the clear base coat. I feel like those um, are a lot more, uh, like the, the colours more vibrant than, than with um, the clear base coat. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, how it works. Um, and just to clarify for my own peace of mind, I feel like if I did these off camera, they come out a lot better than when I try and do them on camera because you're trying to get around this stand. So <laughs> that's my excuse for my shoddy work. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, that's how I did that. Um, so I just wanted to show you this because I thought this was cool. I was looking for like a nice red. Um, this one came up on Amazon and it's like a temperature one. So say, I don't, that's not the best one I've did with this one. So it's the, the dark color now that it's just a normal temperature. But when we get the uh, hair dryer out, or obviously I'm guessing the temperature in the room or water, this is gonna be loud, but um, I'll just show you really quickly how it changes. Try and zoom in on it actually. That's going back again now. Like, Whoa! <laughs> maybe you'll have done this before. Maybe you do your own nails and you've seen this kind of thing before. But this is new to me, so this is awesome. Um, and yeah, I really like that whole concept. I didn't know whether it was gonna work or not, but yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, uh, that's my nail, BDD nail tutorial for you. I hope that was uh, 
helpful, if not just something to watch to pass the time. But yeah, um, if you give it a go, let me know in the comments. Um, there are other colour changing colours to get as well. I thought I might get some of them for another doll. Um, pinks and greens and all sorts. So that'd be a cool thing to do on another doll. Um, yeah, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye, guys.